Hello, this is a tutorial uh, about creating road lines um, using V-Ray Distance X map and this is a response tutorial to a video by Nguyen Gok Fuk, if I pronounce his name correctly, which who demonstrated this uh, trick with Corona but since I'm using V-Ray and some people asked for a tutorial uh, using V-Ray. So here I created two <coughs> uh, planes and a rotated one and I will show you a trick how to, not a trick but a plugin that I use and I love which is Terrain X <coughs> by Flying C and I will use this plane, this road shape to work in this tutorial. So in order to uh, create um, junctions, I use turn X and I select those both uh, faces and I go into create crossroads, outer radius and I set the radius and just by uh, playing with the radius the plugin will allow me to mm. modify live and this is the first thing that I can do next thing is to uh, reduce the number of vertices in those uh, corners so there is uh, segs versus arcs which will help the software to guess how, what radius is this arc created from. So I test the angle, and then I, I type the number of vertices or segments that I want the program to recalculate. And then I do rescale, and then I go to construct round uh, VTS or vertex 3P. Sorry, this is not there. Uh, oops. I, am, I already have a shortcut, so I will run shortcut. Oh, first, let's do it again. Rescale and Sorry, the reason is this not being an editor poly since the command in Turin X uh, using crossroads converted it to uh, an editable mesh, so I have, to, I have to convert it to editable poly. And now I go to this test angle, type 10, rescale, and go to con construct and run vertex 3P. And same here, test, 10, rescale, and I have a shortcut which I assigned, and test angle, 10, F9. This is just to show you this marvelous plugin, and now we'll go and work on our uh, road lines. So I am going to select all these, and I'm going to uh, either use extrude no, I'll use just create sorry I will create splines create shape from selection and lines and now select them and uh, I will offset a bit. Actually, I can do them all together. Select them all and offset. Now I will uh, delete the exterior lines if I wish to, but I do.
because I only need the inner lines and I will select three select the complete uh, segments and now I should have these and now I will uh, copy uh, these two actually these four and I will uh, shift and drag and then detach so that I can move them uh, wait I don't need all of them I just need two so I delete this one and I connect these I have a shortcut that it's a macro script that uh, will uh, weld them join them and weld them so and then I delete and now I can either move or offset and let's just move them and I will select this newly spline, a created spline, and I will divide into 20. And I will, ah, uh, sorry, it's not normalized because the vertex are probably not corners. So I'll convert to corner. And now if I divide to like 20, it should be enough. So I'm going to delete every second line. This is a more valid trick if you use a small area of roads, but if you work on a very big scale, it may not be as, as such. So let's delete those two, select all these, and uh, go to outline and select center. Now play with the total, which 20, uh, 12 should be enough. And now I will uh, attach these to the extreme lines and now I ah, forgot oh I have to also make these uh, give them thickness so I will again let's give them 14 doesn't matter for this sake of the tutorial and uh, let's flatten this is a custom script I created and now I'll go to extrude and give it like 100 centimeters and if you want the the, 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 sh the splines to be very smooth give them interpolation adaptive and it should be uh you know so let's go to extrude wait i will delete extrude i want to see why the adipose spline is as a bit uh, oh it's okay so extrude 100 and put it down now since I have this material I'll create another one so let's create a uh, vira material and I'm going to uh, select the road color which will be like green I don't want it to be now uh, black at the moment because I want to see it in the viewport so select the material and, and um, assign do not assign this material to those uh, um, splines extruded spline so now go into the map browser and select mix and one of these this will be the road color this will be the the road lines color so let's select the green again and in the mix amount select map and go and type dist sorry dist and it will allow it shows you v-ray distance to x so again select it and now i will uh, turn the ipr window that will allow me to test what I'm doing. So let's uh, first let me select 
save the tutorial file. Good. Done. And I'm going to press the IPR button once it to, uh, saves everything. Okay. And first, I have these uh, shapes. I have to convert them to a non-renderable object. So right click all the pr object properties and renderable checked unchecked. Now we'll render. And now let's uh, zoom in. And um, Okay. So what we should do, and I always forget it, is I have to select those um, objects, and once I do it, you can see that I have those road marks on on the plane. And so now I will uh, first go back to uh, my uh, colors and swap. And now I should have the, the green as the asphalt. Let's zoom in again. Go back to the distant excellent. And let's reduce the, the distance to one, maybe zero so that I can uh, have a more sh sharper edge and if I want less sharp and more blurred I can play with the distance. Let's reduce it back to zero. Make sure you have the inside separate and inside solid checked because if you don't have the separate and you don't have the solid if I the solid will fill the area so if I uh, um, um, set it to one I can see a frame but to see the inside I have to make sure I'm filling the solid and then back to zero and so this is how I did it very easy and that's all it's a nice trick I hope you like it and if you like the terrain X plugin which is uh, awesome if you work a lot with roads, topography, um, and uh, interpolation of road heights levels. It's amazing. I have some additional tutorials about Terrain X. And if you do, I suggest you buy the professional version, which is much better than the free version. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.